where I do acknowledge this might not mean a lot to some of you, some of us that grew up loving his music, uh, I think uh, might be a little on the upside, up, upset side when we realized that George Michael, uh, the pop star, is dead at the age of 53. And, you know, it was one of those things I remember on, on Saturday Night Live, you know, Dana Carvey making fun of him and saying, you know, look at my butt and everything. And he had this very creamy voice. And, of course, he was an English songwriter. He sold over 10 million albums. And, of course, he was with the duo Wham. And he was from Oxford, Oxshire, England, actually. And uh, then the policeman basically said uh, in the statement that uh, the Thames Valley police were called to the property and it was an ongoing thing and shortly right around 2 p.m. on Christmas Day uh, George went ahead and passed away and I know that there are a lot of tribute videos that have slideshows and and stuff like that but I guess I just kinda wanna talk about how his music meant something to me because that was right about the time that I was doing a lot of radio and so it was a, it was a lot of great sadness I mean you always feel like you know you lost a brother or uh, a son or something like that and you know I my heart goes out to his family since he did pass away on uh, Christmas because that's you know that's it's a way to ruin a holiday for sure. And I didn't want to bring it up before because I was going through my own madness, you know, trying to reassemble my site and everything. And, of course, one of his very favorite songs, and, and Jidlet and I have used it as a, a running gag for a bit is wake me up before you go, go. You know, and I, I've used that even in different, you know, statements that I've made to you know, different videos that I've watched just because I, I thought that he was a phenomenal artist and I think everyone recognizes that as being part of George Michael, you know, wake me up before you go, go, and, you know, and it was that time, you know, it was that era when, when you know, he did the, the, the song, you know, faith and, and life without prejudice and of course I want your sex you know but we can we can make a little bit of humor about this because I, I think that he took himself you know kind of in stride and and I think he had a sense of self and I think he had a sense of of humor about who he was and everything and you know, it just it, it just seems like such a loss because he was a Grammy winner. And he, on the Grammys, I remember he sang a, a duet with Aretha Franklin. And, uh, I mean, the whole place, you know, just lit up. It, it, went, it went nuts for it. And then finally, in about 1998, I believe it was, uh, he came out for being gay and he was arrested for conduct because at the time he was supporting gay rights and we didn't have laws the way that we do now. and. He described himself as a, as a as a bisexual, and some people thought that that was fraudulent. And how do you, how are you fraudulent if you admit that you're bi? That's just saying that you like what you like. You don't owe anybody an explanation for that. <coughs> and as a result, he you know struggled with a lot of depression, and I think a lot of artists, a lot of artists struggle with depression because we always doubt our work. You know. Is it, if it's not good enough for me, is it going to be, could be good enough for other people, and and so on and so forth. But 
in a bigger picture, I think that we are all, you know, creators and and we all have our own self-worth and we all have our own merit. And George Michael is definitely going to be somebody I think that's going to be missed not only by England itself, but by, you know, the, the world because he did a lot of stuff, you know. I mean, he pretty much kind of set a pathway for what MTV was, not so much what MTV is anymore. MTV now is just more of a network and not so much about the music, which to me is a bit of a disappointment, but that's just me. And uh, I remember during Live Aid, he did a, a duet with Elton John of Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me, which is another one of my personal favorite songs. And I just thought he was a, a really brilliant, brilliant person. And so, yeah, I'm um, not trying to be a complete downer, I'm not trying to be a complete bummer here, but yeah. Don't forget, wake me up before you go, go. Miss you, George. I'm out. Deuces.